Europe thought were confined to the past. Train stations full of bewildered, displaced citizens, some searching, anticipating arrival, hoping for a moment like this. In the pink jacket in her uncle's arms, Australian Olena Tuchenska. She and brother Nick left Brisbane Friday, a frantic dash to Poland to help their family who've just escaped Ukraine. Seven days of hell, pretty much. You know? Just bad news, constantly bad news. That's all you get. Sasha called us like crying from the you know, explosions and shooting and stuff because, you know, got the kids and they're scared. Um, they didn't want to move. So we're, we're really the driving force to get them out. Spending three nights in a key bunker before driving west through Jotunia, where Russian airstrikes killed civilians. When I heard that um, something boom, and uh, it was so scary. Peter Marshall law, they couldn't all leave. I want to see my husband. I want to see my brother. It, to go home. Nick and Alina's mission isn't over. They still have friends in Ukraine they want to help. Then there's the goal of getting all nine family members to Australia, including the two men who were forced to stay behind. We just need to raise some more funds and pay, pay for flights and hopefully get them set up there. Passports are all they brought and three-year-old Monica has her figure ring. So bad. So dumb. So dumb. In Lublin, Poland, Sarah Greenwich, 7 News.